Hey guys, another Demon Wars Lot Reviews here, and this is the Audi R8 LMS Ultra, because it's technically the Ultra, in my opinion it is the Ultra, because of the fact that they've even gone to the effort of putting the lights on the front. So, we'll get straight onto it. Uh, I have shown this in the other video of the other Audi, which I accidentally didn't do the product code for, I remembered, as I finished filming. So, I'll give you both of them, right now. Oops, it is, hit the camera. So the first one is the Audi R8 LMS Phoenix Racing Barhurst 12 hour uh, 2012. This is C3378. That one is the super resistant one, which is the one you're looking at right now. And the detailed one was C3386, you know, just says Phoenix Racing. But that one also did race in the Barhurst 24 hour, 12 hours, so. This car is the one driven by the free Australian drivers, I think it's pronounced ED, but I'm going to say Eddie as well, Eddie, ED, Loans and Luff. So three Australian drivers there in the Audi R8 and in Australian race. That's a good combination. So we've got the, this car is number two and it's in Group A as well. So it's the fastest group. But I believe this one didn't finish the race. I believe it actually retired. Some of you may or may not have known, may not have seen the race, but I'm pretty sure this one did retire in the race. Also, another thing that you might find interesting is that Ninko have also done this car. So there will be some slight differences. I haven't got the Ninko one to compare it to, but again, the Ninko one was super resistant. So some of you might have the Ninko one and you might want to just have a good look at this car, you know, get your Ninko one out and just see what the differences are. The Ninko one might be a different year though, but I'm pretty sure it's still the 2012 one because this is the end of 2013 and I'm pretty sure they released it at the beginning of 2013 or even the middle of 2012. So somewhere along the lines, there is two of these cars available from two different manufacturers. I think that this car is actually one of those cars that took a lot of effort to do, a bit like the Porsche Iowa Spider, the Essex one, the green one. That took a lot of effort. And I think it's definitely worth it was definitely worth the wait because the web and the intricate design of the web is very nice and the spider the black widow again is a wicked wicked design and it's got a few sponsorships along the bottom there bilstein endless audi Cotru, and you know all that kind of stuff and the very nice red line across there now this one obviously hasn't got the working lights, so it's a lot lighter than the other one. Might as well, you know, because the other one got to invade the other video. This one can invade this video as well. And I honestly think that these two cars go well together. They're from the same race. Good combination. And they are, you know, the same team. Another good combination. So they're definitely worth investing in if you are a massive Audi fan and if you like the Barhurst 24 hour. 12 hours, so I keep calling it 24 hours. Um, and I do, I, I like the little fins on a car. Like, I like the red wing mirrors. They just look awesome on this car. I like the detailing on the wing. It would be worth investing in if they have already done it. Um, the spare parts of these wings as well, because if you do damage them, they're, they are quite unique wings to the cars. They're not just got the Audi logo on like some of the others. So it might be worth investing in some extra wings at some point if um, they do produce them. I know for the fact that you can get extra red red rim mirrors as well with the Remington, aka the United Auto Sports Audi as well. So you can get the red rim mirrors if you need them. No other car had yellow rim mirrors except for the Rosberg one, but that one didn't have fully yellow rim mirrors. It had the yellow and black ones. So, hopefully they will produce the... I have. I think I've seen spares for the yellow rim mirror Audi. Um, the only difference is the wings, the rear spoilers aren't exactly the same because you'd have to swap them over. One of them says Audi Top Service, this one. This one says Audi Ultra. So, the only problem I could think with this car is the fact that they might not have spares for the wing. And when they break, they break. It's pretty tragic when you break them on your car as well. Especially if you don't have spares straight away. New York car is broken and sitting on your shelf. I think also 
the only thing that does break on the Audis is the front grille if you bash them in enough. So this Audi can go away now because it's invaded this video long enough. But I think it's... I am very happy about the fact that they've just put the the ultra um, lights on the front of the car there. And that just shows that they really, you know, they really want to send this... If this, these are the last two, to be honest, if they are, on a high. And they've even put the the rear brake light there as well i mean that is a lot of a lot of detail has gone into this car and i'm i hate to see this car go i really do because the audi r8 was such a fantastic car i honestly think i don't think this is the end of the audi but if it is you've got 12 cars to collect if you haven't got any at the moment and that's including silver audi from the crab patrol set and also the club car one but yeah this is definitely one of the cars to get if you are a massive Grand Tourer GT car fan. It's a fantastic car, it drives well, although like I said in the other video it is a bit hit and miss sometimes, uh, but they can easily be improved and they are a fantastic car to drive and they just they handle so well as, as well. I didn't really talk about the bottom of the car in the other one, but you got Sidewinder, same as usual. You've got two magnet positions, but the magnet position on where this one is, it makes it fantastic to drive anyway. It's got a very powerful magnet in it. It's got a slightly bigger one than, say, the McLaren MP4 Dash 12C GT3 car and some of the newer cars. So, in general, the Audi is very good for what you're paying for it. And again, you can get this one from MC Slot, another car that I got from there. So, this is where, you know, our partnership is getting you know benefits i'm getting more cars to review and you're getting more reviews and hopefully if you guys want to buy cars you can get them at a cheaper price than say the high street and also now you guys can quote my name say dean was lot of you sent me here or this is where you got the link from because we just need to get a um an idea of how many people are finding um dean was lot of views i mean mc slots through my channel so that's the review I highly recommend this car. I love this car. I love it almost as much as I love the MGB. And that car, you know, that car just come out of nowhere in my opinion. But the MGB was a great car. But actually, I, I know I love the Audi more than I love the MGB. So the Audi is great. Definitely, if you're a massive GT fan, get it. It's one of the best on the market, say compared to the Lamborghini, the Aston Martin. The only cars that really do beat it in a straight fight are probably the McLaren MP4 12C. Um, I would say it's better than the uh, the new Trophio as well, and it's better than most of the Porsche 997s, and it's better than the Ferrari and the Jag. The only cars that really kind of can beat it is a good Lamborghini as well. So the good Lamborghini and the McLaren in a in a good fight probably trump it, but this one. So it's the third best GT car on the market, but it's definitely worth investing in as well. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to ask a question if I didn't cover anything as well. And again, feel free to check out all the other videos and post a comment if, you didn't, if I didn't cover anything.